Hey everyone, welcome back to my WordPress theme development series. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own short codes. Now, if you're not sure what short codes are, then they are just basically little snippets that you can put into your content editor that will run a piece of code. So for example, we go into our content editor here for the front page and we do a short code like latest cars. And this short code can be viewed by WordPress. It, WordPress understands that it's a short code because it starts with the square bracket and it closes with the square bracket. So essentially what's happening is when someone visits your website, WordPress is obviously converting this to the front end for people to see and then it automatically sees that this could potentially be a short code. It checks its functions.php or plugins to see if a short code exists and if it does, it will run the piece of code and replace this with the piece of code. So if I click update now and I go to the page, you're going to see, uh, once it wants to update, you're going to see the short code there. Now it hasn't done anything. It's just showing, literally showing that snippet that I added. And that's because the short code doesn't exist. So to make this short code actually spit something out, what we can do is we can go into our project in our code editor, go into functions.php and just go to the bottom of the, the page and let's do some more code in there. Okay, so we'll create our, a, a function. We'll just call it uh, my short code, my underscore short code. And inside that function, we're just gonna return hello. We then want to register a shortcode which references this specific function. So let's go and use, this as a WordPress function, add shortcode. Now what do we, what do we want the shortcode to be? And if you remember, we used latest underscore cars. So I'll paste that in there. And then we'll just reference the function we created, which is called my shortcode. And that's really there is to it. So let's save that and refresh it now. Now remember, when the shortcode wasn't created, it just showed the snippet. But now when we refresh it, it says hello. And that's because the shortcode automatically echoes out the data. So as you can see in the function here, we are returning the hello string and it's automatically echoing it out through the shortcode. Now, obviously we don't want to just echo out hello. The whole point of this shortcode is for us to display the latest cars that are in our database. So in our custom post type, we have two cars. So obviously we want those two cars to be coming up on the front page. Okay, so how would we go about doing that? Well, we can obviously code it all into our functions.php, but I probably wouldn't recommend that. So let's go into our includes folder and create a new file and we'll just call it uh, latest-cars.php. And if we go back in, uh, we'll go into latest-cars.php and let's, let's code this out. So um, we want to basically do a query to the database looking for any post that is in the cars post type. So let's go back into our WordPress admin, click on cars and up here, you'll see that the post type is called cars. So we need to query the database looking for the post type called cars and spit out the results. Okay, so let's go back to our code editor, go into latest-cars.php and let's open up the PHP tags. The first thing we want to do is specify our arguments for the query that we're going to be making to the database. This is where we're going to specify that the post type we're looking for is cars. So let's create a variable called ARGS. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and then we're going to open up an array and close the array. And inside that array, we're just going to do post underscore type and then an arrow and then cars because that is the name of the post type referencing this. Okay, now we have our arguments. We need to make a query to the database with those arguments. So we'll create a variable called query, and then we'll do new WP query. Now this is a class in WordPress that assists with the querying of the WordPress database. It makes it much simpler. We're gonna pass into that 
class the arguments that we specified up here. So essentially it's querying the database and it's looking for anything with the post type of cars. Now that we've done the query, let's close the PHP tags and then we'll open up some new PHP tags and this is for us to display it. So we're going to do PHP if query have posts. So if posts exist after making that query. Um, okay, let me just, okay. We'll close off the tag and then we'll do PHP while the query have posts. So while there are posts, and then do a colon and then query the post. So it's basically just doing a while loop for each post that is is uh, that comes out of that query. We'll then end while and end if. Okay, so let's just run through this. We're passing the arguments into the, the database query. The database is being queried and then we're checking if that specific query has posts. So if anything exists from that query. If it does, we're gonna do a while loop, which is similar to like a for each loop. So while there are posts, show us each post in a loop. So within these tags here, we can actually grab the data the individual data from each post. So let's do PHP, the title. Okay, let's go refresh the front page. And yeah, we can't see it, of course. We're still seeing our short code there. But if you want to test it before you put it into a short code, you could just go to the front page and we could do PHP, get template part, specify the folder, which is includes, and then the first part of the PHP file, which is latest. And then the second part of that array will be cars, which is cars there. So let's go and refresh it now. And as you can see, Toyota Land Cruiser, Toyota Corolla came up. And obviously you can access the custom fields as well. So if we go into our dashboard, go to custom fields, and car details, we had these custom fields associated with, with the car. So we've got color registration. So if I grab registration, I could do PHP the field registration. And that is going to only show the registration that's associated with that specific car. So let's refresh. There we go. Okay, so obviously you might want to pretty it up, make it look a bit nicer. Maybe not an H, H1, maybe an H3. I'll also just use a bit of bootstrap here to put it in a card. So it looks a bit separated. Okay. And let's refresh it now and see how it looks. Cool. So we have Toyota Land Cruiser, Toyota Corolla. Maybe do a margin bottom three on the card as well. So we have these two items here now. So now that we know that this particular uh, PHP file works, we want to include it so it displays in our short code. So let's go back to our front page and remove this. Hit save. It's gone now. Let's replace the hello that we created before and show that piece of code instead. So literally you just need to go in here, take away the PHP tags obviously, and do that. So return the get template part that we used in, on the front page before. So let's save and refresh. And as you can see, it works. It, it comes up in the short code. So if we take away the short code, note that the short code is underneath the text here. Let's update that and refresh it. So it's not there anymore. But if we go to the bottom of the text, and hit and put the short code in and update and view the page, it does come up. But the weird thing is that the short code is placed underneath the text, but it's actually coming up at the top. 
Now, the reason why this is happening is because short codes are automatically echoed. So if we go back to our code and we go to latestcars.php, this is being echoed. The title is being echoed and the registration is being echoed automatically. And then if we go to functions.php, we're calling this and our short code code is echoing it out again. And that does cause problems. Now, there are two ways to fix this. The first part, or well, the first thing you would do, which is the more painful part, would be converting this so it doesn't echo anything out. It just returns it. And I'm not going to do that because it's kind of pointless. The second part is to use something called output buffering. Um, now, output buffering essentially is... Uh, I'll do it first and then I'll explain to you what it is. So first thing we want to do here in our short code is to just do ob underscore start, which is a PHP function. Uh, and then we're going to take away the return from our, par our, our uh, template part. And then we're going to do return ob get clean. And I'm going to save that and I am going to refresh it now. And as you can see, now it's displaying where it should. Now, what does OB start and OB get clean actually do? Well, think of OB start as uh, something that just says, start remembering everything that would normally be outputted, but don't do anything with it yet. So it's essentially opening this tag and it's saying whatever is, is, going, is supposed to be echoed out, don't echo it out. And then we're going to return the echoed out data that we've captured in this function afterwards. So essentially you can echo out anything in this PHP file and then the short code will capture that echo and then return it properly. And that's why it's now displaying how it should. Let's just add the image of the, the uh, cars here as well. And you can easily just go into your single dash cars.php and you can pretty much use any of these tags. So if you remember, we had uh, this, which is uh, if there's a post thumbnail, let's grab that and let's go into our latest-cars.php and paste that there because it's going to work the same as if it were a single page. And we'll hit save and refresh. And now you can see that the cars have come up. Now, what if you want to uh, maybe filter your query and only show black cars or only show silver cars? Well, Let's go and have a look and see what we can do. So let's go to cars. Let's go into our Toyota Corolla. And you remember the color is blue, actually. Sorry, I'm going, I'm a bit colorblind there. Um, so what if we had tons of blue cars and we only wanted to show blue cars? Well, uh, what we could do is we could go to our latest-cars.php and we could just add a few keys here. Now, advanced custom fields just creates meter keys and values in the database. So we want to target a specific meter key. Now, if we go to our advanced custom fields, go to custom fields and go to car details, we have these and uh, these keys. So basically we have color, registration and features. Let's go to color. Let's grab color there. And we will do the meter key that we're wanting to query for is color and the value let's make it brown for now we don't have any brown cars so when we refresh no cars should come up here as you can see but now if I make it blue note that I've got capital B because I put uh, capital uh, put it as a capital B in the database if I hit refresh now only the blue Corolla comes up or if I do black, only the black car will come up. So we can just remove that. Actually, I'll comment it out. And then both will come up. You can also do posts per page, posts per page, and you can make it one. So only show one item. Let's refresh it. As you can see, it's showing the latest one. Or you can make it zero, and I believe that's going to make it unlimited. So you'll show all the posts. Okay, so now that we've managed to put it into a short code, obviously, if you didn't want it to be used in a short code, then you could just...
basically do a get template part. So grab this like we did before and you could just do PHP get template part like that and refresh it. And now obviously we're going to have two of them because the short code is still in use as well. So that's one, uh, that's a pretty good uh, use case for a short code. If you wanted the flexibility to paste in code anywhere in your document. Now, another cool thing that you could probably do, uh, and it's really straightforward is let's just say you have a huge website with a lot of pages and you want to put your phone number on all of those pages. And you might even put the, your phone number in uh, a lot of your content because you're trying to make it SEO friendly. Well, what you could do is you could just create a short code. So echo, uh, sorry, function, my phone, return. And let's just say your phone number is 0400111222. And then you could create a short code. We'll call it phone and we'll refer to my phone function. And that's it. So what you could do now is you can go in and you could add your phone number with this short code phone all over your content. Update it, view the page. And as you can see, the phone number is there, the phone number is there, the phone number is there. Oh, but hang on, you've changed your phone number. Well, all you'd need to do is go and change the short code so you don't have to change it on every single page there is. And even better, you could make it so that it is a clickable phone number. And that is kind of good for SEO as well. So refresh again. There we go. You can click it. It's one of those clickable phone numbers. Okay, so that uh, that concludes the short codes tutorial. And I hope you've learned something. And I will see you in the next videos. Cheers.